Hello, welcome back to Roy the Boy. This is going to be a very simple little uh, video. Uh, so I'm hoping so. So what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to convert this uh, point system uh, engine and electronic well, coil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to electronic ignition coil, which I got off a uh, Briggs & Stratton 35 classic engine. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is that this I know this coil fits on there is because if you put it onto the actual side of the engine or we put it onto the magnets as you can see there it is fitting nicely um, and the only other thing you have to make sure is that the actual bolts the holes uh, are matching on there so what we'll do is first uh, I'm going to show you that there is no spark on there first so I'm going to put that on there there is a kill wire which is uh, just located under there um, to kill it or you do is, is when you pull the uh, throttle lever it moves that over and it just connects on there so I'm gonna un unconnect that I've got the engine so if you watch the spark plug there's no spark there whatsoever so that points and uh, condensers probably gone or it could be corroded inside I'm not gonna muck around taking the, in the flywheel off because all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wire when I show it to you and then I'm just going to swap the uh, coils over and we should have a spark at the end of it. So we'll take that off there. Do that down to the side take the spark plug off and that was a brand new spark plug here's the kill wire but what I'm going to do first before I do anything else we'll make sure that this lines up Let's get that onto the magnets and with the other screw there it is right so that is fitting right that does fit on there because I just uh, just tried it with the screws uh, so please take my word for that, that it does fit so all we're going to do is is I've got to disconnect the kill wire switch and this and what it is just underneath there that's where the uh, the, the wires are go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those as close as they are just leave them because uh, you won't need it for anything else and then we'll take this kill wire off of here and then I've got to replace it with the kill wire which also goes on to the back of the underneath of the uh, electronic ignition one for the Briggs and Stratton and then uh, we'll fit it underneath there and it should be alright. Let's see if I can move this around just a little bit just so you can see what I'm actually doing. So there's two wires which are going so what I'll do is it I'm gonna cut that wire off there first so that's that coil gone and then fit, feed that through there we we'll cut this one off as well don't need that and then all I'll do is I'll get my screwdriver there and then just cut those wires as close as I can one two and that's it all right so what I do is now is I'll just pull this wire out of here it's simple and that's that kill wire out and then what I've got to do is I will thread that through the other one through to there and I will put this back and when that's done I'll just come back to you and I'll show you what I've done Right, so what I'll show you what I've done, I've actually threaded it through here and then gone through there and then underneath there, which I've connected it to it. Um, and on this one, it, it does have to sit down under there and then it will fit onto the uh, new ignition coil and I'll show you to that now. So before you connect these up, these can only go on one way uh, because on the bottom there, it says cylinder side 
and on the other side it says uh, this side out now it's just show you the difference between the two coils for the electronic ignition this part here is what it actually gives it the spark so that's taking the, the place of the uh, points and condenser so if you can see on that one there it is missing on that point so we'll put this back on and as it's got this side out so we'll connect the uh, the kill wire sit that onto there and then we'll put these screws back in sit that one out right so those screws are on so what I do is now is let's just make sure I get this to the magnet side I've just give those a little lock up just so that doesn't go in and that should be the magnet side yep and then all I do is I use a credit card to get the gap so all I do is there is I set that up like that unscrew those uh, that's it same as this one and then as you saw that locked into there and it that that's going to be my gap for it so then, then all I do is I'll just give that a little lock up there and the same as this on that side really and that should be alright and then we just take that off now we've put the spark plug back on and then uh, we should should have a spark right okay so if you just watch the uh, end of the uh, spark plug tip do it and uh, you can see that's got a lovely spark now so that should fire up so there we have it on this uh, electronic uh, coil uh, conversion from points and condenser to electronic ignition um, as you saw it did spark well and I hope this uh, video helps you. You can do this yourself. It just shows you how simple it is. You don't have to take the flywheel off at all. You just cut the wires, leave all the old points and condenser inside it. It doesn't need it to be taken out. And it's a simple job. So now you will see this video uh, when I've put this uh, machine back together again on another video. And then you'll see how nicely it runs. So that's all there is on this one. And um, if you did like it, please give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that grey notification bell and then you'll be told when i'm doing another one so until next time cheerio